Have you ever used Procure brushes and they're not looking the way you expect them to? Something is off and you can't quite figure out how to fix it. In this video, I'm going to show you a few ways to do that. This video is geared towards beginners and intermediate Procreate users as well. And we are going to walk through seven different things that you could do to make your brushes behave a little bit more like you expect them to. Hello and welcome to Color with Kendi. So the first thing we're going to talk about is pressure curve settings. This sounds complicated, but I promise you it is not. It's pretty easy and it's life changing. So have you ever used a brush in Procreate and you're expecting it to look like this, but then it looks like this and you're wondering why does it not look that way? It might just be a pressure curve problem. So let's do this together. So let's open up a new canvas. Any size will do. I'm opening up a canvas that is eight by 10 inches. And we are going to test out one of the default Procreate brushes together. And then we'll assess whether or not your pressure curve setting is ideal for you. So go to the brush library, then go to the sketching brush. It's the first segment of the Procreate default brushes. And then there's a pencil there that is called 6B. Tap on that, select a dark color, close to black, it doesn't necessarily need to be black. And now what I'd like you to do is with the largest brush size is to use light pressure and create a few strokes up and down. Then use medium pressure to create a few strokes and then use heavy pressure to create a few strokes. Now, if you were able to do this very easily and you can see a distinction in the grain of this one and this one, that means the pressure curve setting is probably okay for you and you don't need to adjust it. Now, if you had some trouble creating this, then we need to talk because we need to change the pressure curve setting. And if you had some trouble creating this, you really had to press super hard on your screen and it was uncomfortable then we need to talk. We need to change that pressure curve setting for you. If this was completely fine, I would recommend you skip this section and move on to the next chapter in this video. Now, if you had trouble creating this and this, let's change things up. So let's go to the actions menu. It's the wrench icon. Then go to preferences and let's tap on pressure and smoothing. This is your pressure curve. I don't exactly know how it works and I don't care to know the details, but this is a game changer. For me, this is the ideal pressure curve. This is the default. Now, if you are someone who has a very heavy hand and all of your strokes kind of end up looking like this, you're unable to get this kind of look, then what I'd like you to do is tap on the center of that line. You'll get a little node, a little circle, and then drag it down to about here. So I'm going to show you that again. Tap on the center, drag it down, and then test out the brush. You will find that it's a lot easier to create this look. Now it's not going to work so well for me because I don't have a heavy hand. I don't press very hard. So for me, now when I'm using the pressure that I was using earlier, I can hardly see anything. But if you have a heavy hand, I'm trying to press harder now, then I'm more likely to be able to create this look with this new pressure curve setting. So let's go back to the wrench icon and back to the pressure and smoothing section. So if you have a heavy hand, you tend to use a lot of pressure. This is a great setting for you. And you can always change this around. You can move it around and test it. But as a starting point, that is great. Now, if you're a person who struggles to create this kind of look and you find that you have to press very hard, then you might have a light hand. If you have a lighter hand, then what I like you to do is take this back to where it was originally and move it up there. Now you'll find that it's a lot easier to create this kind of look and you don't have to press too hard. I'll show you that. So now, I'm, press, I'm pressing lightly, but I'm still able to create this look. So to recap, 
the pressure curve setting is really important and not everyone will do well with the default setting. So if you tend to have trouble creating a variety of looks from your pencils, then definitely check out the pressure curve setting. And if you have a heavy hand, you tend to use heavy pressure, move it here. If you have a light hand, oh, it's not moving. Hello. If you have a light hand, Okay, I'm gonna reset it. Sometimes things are finicky, that's okay. Tap there and move it up. So that is if you have a light hand. So test it out, have some fun and experiment. And then hopefully you'll be able to use your brushes a lot better. Procreate brushes are generally pressure sensitive and you can create a variety of looks from the same brush. And if you are struggling to do that, it's a simple matter of changing the pressure curve. Now let's move on to number two. So the second thing we're going to talk about in this video is skipping. So if you've ever tried to make some lines in Procreate and you find that there's this gap, the pencil is skipping, that is a common problem that I've had many a time and it's so frustrating because you're trying to create a line that looks like this, but it keeps skipping. So if that's the case, the easiest fix that generally fixes this problem is to just tighten the Apple Pencil tip. But sometimes it kind of gets a little bit loose and all you have to do is tighten the Apple Pencil tip and that should resolve the problem. And if that doesn't resolve the problem, skipping, I find that this happens sometimes when my sleeve is hitting the screen while I'm drawing. It doesn't happen every time, but sometimes it's just the fabric touching the screen. So make sure you don't have any fabric touching the screen and that will resolve the problem. If you still can't resolve the problem, then just restart the iPad and you should be able to create nice lines. The third issue I wanted to talk about is tilt. So Procreate has brushes that are both pressure sensitive and tilt sensitive in general. Not all of the brushes are, but most of the brushes are. And if you're not aware of that, it can be a little bit annoying. So as an example, the 6B pencil. So if I use it this way without tilting it, that's what it looks like. But if I hold my pencil with a tilt, some people do, then you will get a very different look. Now, if you're intending to get this look, but you keep getting this look because of the way you hold your pencil, it can be a little bit annoying. So try to hold your pencil without a tilt. Like this is a tilt. Without a tilt, it's more like this. Do you see there's a little bit of a difference in the angle, but if you're still struggling and you tend to tilt your pencil a lot more and you just don't want that tilt to be happening, there is something that you can do. You can change the settings of the brush so that it no longer is tilt sensitive. So let's go to the brush and I'm going to show you how to change the settings. But before I change the settings, I'm going to duplicate this brush. I always like to duplicate a brush and then change the settings. So that way I'm not changing the settings of the original brush. So to duplicate, to swipe to the left, tap on duplicate, tap on the brush, and we are going to go to the segment that is Apple Pencil. And we are going to remove this and put everything to none, everything. So zero, none, 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 and don't have the size compression on and tap on done. Now, if I use a pencil without tilt, it looks like this. And with tilt, it still looks like this. So if you prefer your brushes not to have the tilt going on, that's a personal preference. You can definitely turn it off and that's how you turn it off. Number four is canvas size. And you might be wondering, what does canvas size have anything to do with brushes? It certainly does because brushes look different at different canvas sizes. So if you are following someone's tutorial and you are using a very different canvas size from theirs, the brushes won't look the same. So let me show you that. So I'm going to go back to the sketching section, 6B pencil. I am at the largest size and I am in an eight by 10 inch canvas. This is what it looks like. Now, if I go to a canvas size that is smaller, a four by five, 
and do exactly the same thing. It's the same brush, size 100. Do you see how different that brush looks? So if you're watching a tutorial and you're trying to follow along and they tell you to use a brush size of 100 and you do it and your brush size does not look anything remotely similar to what you're seeing in the video, then it might just be that your canvas size is too small or too big compared to the tutorial that you're watching. So whenever you are watching someone's tutorial and you want to follow along with their brush sizes, it is a good idea that you use the same canvas size. Number five, reset to the rescue. So if you've ever purchased a brush from somebody else or me, and you decided to tweak it a little bit and you tweaked it a bit too much and now it looks nothing like the original brush and you can't find your original download, no sweat. I'm gonna show you what you can do. So as an example, I'm gonna show you one of my pencils. It's the rough sketch from my pencils set. This is what it's supposed to look like. Now, let's say you decided to tweak it. I'm just gonna do some random tweaks and the brush now looks like this. And you're like, uh-oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but how do I go back? You don't have to go and download the original brush. You can go into the brush and then go to about this brush and there should be a reset brush option. All of my brushes have this. I don't sell any brushes without this because it's really important to be able to reset your brushes in case you make some changes. So just tap on reset brush, don't tap on create new reset point. That will just save your new changes. Tap on reset brush, tap on reset, and your brush will be as good as new and you don't have to re-download the original. Now recommendation, whenever you're fiddling around with brushes and you're making changes, don't make the change to the original brush. Just swipe to the left, duplicate it, and make your changes to the duplicate. This way you're not changing the original, and if you make too many changes and nothing looks like the original, you can always go back to the original. Because not everyone's brushes have that reset point. I have put it in there, but not all brushes have that. So just keep that in mind when you are fiddling around with brushes. Problem number six is my brush is transparent, but it's not meant to be. What happened? So this has happened to me many a time. I'm using a brush and I'm expecting it to look like this, but then instead it looks like this. And I'm thinking, what happened? I didn't change the color. I didn't change anything. Make sure that you look at your opacity slider. So these are your sliders here. This is your brush size slider. This is your opacity slider. And sometimes accidentally with your hand, you might move that slider down and not even realize. And that makes your brush transparent, really transparent. Just slide it back up and your brush should look good as new. Number seven, what to do when your brushes feel a little sticky. So I don't really know how to explain this feeling. I'm gonna to have to show it to you. So imagine that you have a brush and you're trying to create smooth lines, but do you see like it's almost like magnetic and it's sticky, it's, it's not a smooth, it's not a smooth feeling. It just feels like something is off about the brush. If that ever happens to you and you don't want that to happen, there is a setting that you can change. See, I'm trying to create a circle, but do you see it's really not doing that? I'll show you what you can do to change that. So in this example, I've used the Baskerville brush. It's a Procrete default brush, and I'm gonna show you how you can change it. So I'm going to duplicate it, and then I'm gonna tap on it, and then I'm going to go to stabilization. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make everything zero. And then I'm going to click on done. And now, when I try to do the same things with this brush, it's so much smoother, I can create a circle. It just feels a lot more natural. So if you ever find any of your brushes feel a little bit sticky, for lack of a better word, just go to the brush, go to stabilization, and turn all of that off. 
and you will be able to use the brush a lot more freely. So that will fix that problem. So this covers most of the common brush issues that I've encountered, but by no means is this an exhaustive list of issues. If you have any other issues in Procreate with your brushes and you don't know how to fix it, let me know in the comments below and I will create a part two for this video, part two, troubleshooting Procreate brushes some more. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new. If you did, give it a like and be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!